Party people, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Tori. Thank you so much for being here today. For today's video, I thought we would take it to like OG YouTube content days, days when I wasn't a content creator myself, but I was someone consuming a lot of videos here on YouTube. And I thought I would do a little what's in my bag video. I feel like this has been coming back, especially on like short form content spaces like TikTok and Instagram Reels. But I love my little YouTube channel, so I thought I would make one for you all. I also was supposed to have a different video come out this week, but I really just hated the way it was filmed. It was going to be a lookbook, but I hated the footage, and I've been really, like, in my feelings this week because it's that time of the month. And so I didn't want to post something I wasn't, one, creatively in love with, or two, like, really secure about posting online just for, like you know, my own self-esteem and self-care. So I thought, what is a video I can make where nothing is about my body? <laughs> and I decided I would film this one a little last minute, but very real. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Grab a snack, grab a drink, let's get into it. This is my current bag. She's actually a recent addition to my closet. I just have this beautiful bag that I actually got at the Coach outlet. I saw it a couple weeks ago and I told myself if I made a certain amount of money when I sold some of my clothing, I would purchase it. So I did, here it is. She's gorgeous. I'll leave the name on the screen or down below. I also really liked this bag because it came with this long strap. So it can be more of like a shoulder bag or it could be more of like a longer bag moment. I really love this bag because I love the like silver hardware of it all. It has like these like studs and this kind of detail really gives me like Western vibes. And I feel like as someone who has grown up in Southern California, even when Western like style or Western inspired um, fashion isn't on trend, it's definitely something that a lot of people embrace. And so I really thought it was fun and cool. This will be perfect for like music festival season. And I just think it goes really well with my closet. It has very minimal coach branding, which I also really like. The studs actually say coach on it as does this little closure and it has just a simple coach logo here. And I also bought it because I kind of wanted to replace this lovely Liz Claiborne bag that I've been wearing nonstop since I got it. I thrifted this like a few years ago in Seattle. I really liked it at the time because it gave a lot of my outfits some texture. Like as you can see, it has that snake print texture, but I was thinking about my closet and one thing I really wanna do like since I'm getting older is I kind of wanted to upgrade a few of my most worn pieces. So I wanted to start first with this black bag. This coach bag is also slightly bigger. And again, it also has like more like noticeable hardware. So I actually thought that was more fun. And I feel like this, even though it is a very simple black bag can still be considered a statement because of the studs. Like you can really play into the Western feel of it or you could just choose to style it as you would any other bag. So I will be donating this and giving it to a new home because it has served me well. As you can see, I kind of just throw all my stuff in there. So let's get into it. I've had this bag for a relatively short amount of time, but anytime I use my handbags, I will just dump whatever is in one into another. The first thing I can see in here is a pad because like I said, it's that time of the month. So I have to have one on hand. The next thing I see is my Tom Ford travel perfume. And this is in the scent Tobacco Vini. And this one's more of a nighttime scent, but I can't find all my other scents. I think I kind of lost them in the move or I kind of organized them in a way that like, I don't remember where I put them. So I just have this one for now. But usually I'll try to keep more of like my travel or sample size ones, even though this Tom Ford one was meant to be a travel size. I have a hair tie, loves it. I have a receipt for an espresso because I'm trying to make coffee at home. Whenever I come home to my parents' house, like when I would normally come home for like holidays or random weekends, I'd always get Starbucks. But now that I'm living here again, I need to kick the habit of Starbucks and start making my coffee at home. Next up, I have my wallet. I love using a card holder and my best friend gifted this to me for my birthday. It's an Alexander McQueen one and it's this beautiful blush color. I used to have one from YSL that I wore to bits. Like it's literally brown. It used to be blush pink and after many years of using it, it's brown. So thank you, Yasi. I have in here Mega Babe, which is this anti-chafing stick that I use 
whenever I wear a skirt, I'm currently wearing a skirt today. I have raved about this stuff in so many essentials videos and so many like summer essentials, makeup essentials, favorite things of all time. If you are someone who has thick thighs, would definitely recommend this. I used to wear leggings or, or like um, spandex underneath my skirt. So my chub rub would kind of be as minimal as possible, but this stuff works so well. This also works really well if you have shoes that rub against like your feet. I've used this when I was breaking in my clogs and stuff like that. So must have this always. My sunglasses, my Sunny Studio sunglasses, which I wear literally all the time. 10 bucks, best $10 I've ever spent, honestly, truly. And then I have so much random stuff. I have another perfume. This one is Juliet Has a Gun. This is definitely one that smells very powdery and kind of like, I'd say a more mature scent to put it nicely. I don't really reach for this, but again, I can't really find the travel perfumes I normally reach for. The next things I have in here are samples. I went to the dermatologist the other day, which is why I'm not wearing makeup. I went to the dermatologist to kind of get my acne situation figured out and we're slowly figuring that out. That's a big one of my goals for 2023 is to clear up my skin and to really figure out what is wrong with my skin because I'm 26, almost 27 and I still have acne and I've never had this kind of acne in my life. Um, but they gave me some samples of this Illumiere Hydrolite facial, facial Moisturizer. And then I also have these Shout To Go wipes. Every time I wear a white or a light colored shirt, I somehow always spill coffee on myself. And to prevent the coffee from staining, I'll just be an idiot and like throw as much water or like seltzer onto my shirt so it doesn't stain too bad. So I decided to invest in some of these. I think they come in like packs of four for a dollar, but have some shout just in case I spill on myself. <laughs> Another facial moisturizer sample. The next thing I have in here is a hand cream. This one is just one my mom gifted me for Christmas. Love this stuff, but it is like very heavily fragranced. So if I'm going to like eat with my hands or eat at dinner, I try to use as little of it as possible, just enough to feel the moisture, but not so the fragrance like hits me in the face, you know? Um, the next thing I have in here are four, four lip products. Clearly, as you can tell by having hand lotion and lip products, I don't like feeling chapped in any way. So these are the four that I have. I have the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in brown sugar, I think. I really love this stuff, but I always forget that it's tinted. That was chance if you just heard a snore. I always forget it's tinted and I'm someone who kind of, I kind of overline my lips with like lip balm and chapstick. So I always look a little funky when I wear this. I kind of look like a clown, I forget. But when I remember that it's tinted, it leaves a nice lovely tint. I have the Glossier Coconut Balm.com that I found randomly, like unopened in all of my like skincare. And I was like, you know what? It's time to use this. And allegedly like Glossier is changing the packaging of their bomb.coms, which is one thing I actually hated about the bomb.coms. Like I did not like this like packaging that you have to like use your fingers to apply. The next lip product I have is from Sunny's Face and it is their Lip Treat in Jellyfish, which is the only one that's untinted. And I don't know if you can see, but I literally dug into this stuff. This stuff, honestly, I don't know if it worked, but it definitely is sleek and pretty enough that I'm gonna use it. I also have so many refills of this. So before I even repurchase a bomb.com or anything, I definitely have to use up all these Sunny's face lip products. And then the last lip product I have is Dior's Lip Glow Oil in Cherry Oil. One thing I really hate about this gloss is that it's mint scented, even though in my brain, I'm like, it's cherry oil. It's gonna smell like cherry. It does not, it smells like mint, but I do really love the nice little tint this cherry one gives to your lips. I feel very luxe when I wear this. So I know some people might think spending $30 on a little lip gloss is silly, but sometimes you just gotta be a little bougie, you know, a little treat yourself to some bouginess vibes. And I definitely bought this during the Sephora sale. So I didn't pay full price. I didn't pay full price, and that's it. Speaking of bougie, I have my Aesop Resurrection Rinse-Free Hand Wash, which is basically their antibacterial. I love this stuff. I talked about this, I think, in, I wanna say like my winter gifting guide, but I love this silly little thing. This thing is $10, which is a little much 
for um, an anti-back. But if you think about it, there are other antibacterial um, brands like Touchland, which are just as pricey and potentially even more. Love the stuff, love the smell, love the way my hands feel after I use this. And I feel like having something like this be bougie is really fun because it's something you have to use all the time. And it's just a nice little treat. Every time I need to disinfect myself, I'm like, I'm treating myself though. I'm treating myself, taking care of my health, taking care of the scent. So some people might think this is a silly thing to splurge on. For me, it's all about the small little treats, about the small little splurges in your life. And then the last thing I have in here is trash. Um, and then my keys, and then all my keys, I just have a little Glossier keychain, little uh, telephone, and then this peel thing, which you use to like open doors or like use the touch pad on an ATM. This is a very COVID purchase. It also is a um, bottle opener. So whenever I need a bottle opener, there it is. But yeah, that's it. That's the inside of the bag. That is, oh, I had $20 in this little pocket slid. That's all that's in my bag. I don't know what else to say. I just emptied out my bag for fun and I'm gonna have to put it all back inside because I'm going to the movies right now. I'm gonna go see Megan with a friend. Um, but that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Do you think this was an accurate reflection of me? Who's to say? Honestly, truly, thank you so much for sticking around. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much. If you want to see more of me, feel free to follow me on Instagram, on TikTok, or if you want to see what I'm reading, feel free to follow me on Storygraph. And that's it. I'll see you later. Bye.